All they do is make me feel like bleep. Relationship underscore advice. Update. I accidentally found out my 28M fiancé, 27F, has been creating erotic fan art fiction for years. I am not judging but when I mentioned it to her, she became furious. I have never seen her so upset. I am really confused. Doing this on a new throwaway because I cannot remember the password to my original throwaway account. Original post is here. Oh, HTTPS. Old. Reddit. Com. R. Relationship underscore advice comments for gram 86 SVN. I underscore accidentally underscore found underscore out underscore my underscore 28 meters underscore fiance underscore 27 F underscore has. She came back after I sent a large apology message apologizing for laughing at her fanfiction and it was not done out of malice and more out of awkwardness. We had a long talk about it. I explained I wasn't that comfortable with her keeping such a large amount of her life secret, hidden from me. She also admitted that oftentimes when she was saying she was working late in our home office what she actually meant was she was writing, drawing stuff and just wanted to be left alone. I told her I had no problem with her hobbies, which made her happy. She also told me that she is so embarrassed because a bunch of it is self-inserts of her, and some of it would make me unhappy reading it. I asked her to show me, and she eventually agreed. I read some of it and it didn't bother me at all. I'm owed to me fantasizing about fictional characters isn't a huge deal as it is simply a fantasy and not real. I asked if some of the things she writes are things that turns her on. And I told her I am willing to try anything at least once. Yesterday night she actually sat down next to me and started writing while I was next to her on the couch. And she didn't seem embarrassed at all anymore. So I guess this is good. Thank you for your help. TL. Doctor. Me and my fiancé were able to work things out. And she isn't so embarrassed anymore about it. And is willing to share with me. Thanks for the advice. Update my 20th sister's 28th behavior towards my boyfriend 21M is horrendous. Previous post. HTTPS. www. Reddit. Com. R. Relationship underscore advice comments per gram 9J503. My underscore 20F underscore sisters underscore 28F underscore behavior underscore towards underscore my underscore boyfriend. UTM underscore medium equals Android underscore app and UTM underscore source equals share. I'm on mobile. I apologize for any mistakes. Hi. First of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for your help. I'm really grateful for the support I've received here and all those little messages some of you sent me really made me understand the situation I was in. The many many comments I read here gave me the strength I needed to talk to my sister. Thank you, guys. I should probably tell you that this might not be the perfect badass ending you all were expecting. And I apologize for that. I've always had a hard time standing up against my sister. Like I said in my original post. My boyfriend doesn't like confrontations either and he's also a huge people pleaser which makes this situation harder for both of us. Nevertheless. I finally decided to talk to my sister yesterday. She was actually sitting in my living room in her underwear and bra. And I completely lost my bleep. 
I told her multiple times to wear some clothes but she said it was too hot which it was not. She then made a small comment about me being insecure about my BF liking her or something like that. And that made me angry. I sat her down and we talked. I told her she was making me uncomfortable. She was making my boyfriend uncomfortable. And we wanted her to leave. She looked very shocked by it because I don't think I have ever talked to her like that. She immediately apologized though. She said she didn't know or some bleep which I wasn't going to fall for this time. I gave her an ultimatum. She needed to pack her bleep and get out in three hours. She looked very emotional and she apologized a lot. Said sorry a lot and told me she loved me. She said she would never intentionally try to hurt me. If I misunderstood her actions, it wasn't her fault. She kept saying she didn't know. She said she was just trying to be friendly to my boyfriend, which is not true at all. I asked her if sexually harassing someone was friendly to her, and she started crying. By this time, my BF who was in our bedroom, avoiding my sister and her skimpy clothing, came to support me. She kind of directed her questions towards him. She asked him if she was making him uncomfortable, he said yes, and she cried and apologized. She then tried to gain his sympathy by saying that I was kicking her out when she had no place to go. She also lied that I was always mean to her. She completely ignored me and asked him if she could stay. She had nowhere else to go. Of course he said no. What the bleep did she think? I will forever remember the look on her face. So yeah. She actually refused to leave. Cried a lot and said she was jobless and she didn't have money. No place to stay. No friends etc. I told her she had no friends because she was a bleep. The first time I said something like this to my sister, she then tried to guilt trip me to let her stay by repeating the words, I'm your sister, family. I love you, etc. Me and my boyfriend helped her pack all her stuff and put it next to her car. I told her that she can stay in her car. I didn't care. I wanted her to go. It wasn't really epic, like some of you wanted. I was actually crying a little while I was shouting at her because I was shaking so much. At one point my BF had to tell me to calm down. It was just so overwhelming. I'm just glad she's gone. She did leave eventually. She was calling someone and I'm pretty sure she went back to her own flat. Thank God she's not going to my parents because I don't think she knows how to quarantine. I know she won't quarantine and this was the main reason I was hesitant to kick her out. 2. 3 hours after she left. My mom called me and yelled at me for kicking her out. I shouldn't have been shocked when she accused my BF of bothering my sister. My mom also asked me what kind of man I was dating. I should leave him etc. I should have expected that. Really. I tried to reason with her but my mom was just angry at me. She asked me things like, how can you do this to your own sister, and similar bleep she should be. Asking my sister. At that point I was so bleep angry. I was in tears and shaking. I just told her to bleep off in anger and hung up. It was just a weird day. I'm proud of myself for finally standing up to my sister. But I also don't really feel like getting up from my bed. My BF is back to his cheerful self and I'm happy about that. But I just feel like such an idiot. I should have realized my mom would never take my side a long time ago. I just don't understand what I did to make my mom so angry at me. Why doesn't she love me?
I have done everything she asked me to do. But she never takes my side in things. I just want her to bleep love me and support me for once. It just never happens and I feel like I'm a bleep idiot for even trying. I think she regrets I was even born. Anyway bleep that. I'm done trying to reason with them. My mom will never believe me. Pretty sure my sister lied to her so mom keeps calling and trying to speak to my BF. I'm currently thinking of cutting off all of my family. All they do is make me feel like bleep. I deserve better than that. My boyfriend deserves better than that. I apologize for venting. What's done is done. I don't regret it. I'm glad I have my boyfriend and he loves me unlike my family and we finally have some alone time. He's been so moody. But right now he's actually cooking and stuff and he hasn't done that ever since sister came here. So yeah. I'm glad she's gone. My boyfriend is glad she's gone. I finally have some peace and quiet in my home. Thank you so much to everyone. I don't think I can thank you all enough. Some of you talked to me. Sent me messages and it really opened my eyes. I'll take care of myself and my boyfriend now. Thank you. Edit. Thank you everyone. I've been reading your comments. I'm still shocked by the support I've received here. Please know that I appreciate it so much. Even though I may not be able to reply. Thank you.